Do you have carpal tunnel syndrome? Like the burning, the tingling, the numbness, the, the cramps, the lack of sleep. It is such an awful thing. It was the bane of my existence for such a long time. If you're having those similar problems, you're in the right place. Today, we're talking about carpal tunnel syndrome and how to fix it using postural therapy. My name is John Clark. I'm certified by the Agoscu Institute to perform postural therapy. And today, we're going to be talking about postural therapy from the perspective of P Pete Agoscu's book, Pain Free. That's this one right here. We're talking about the menu on page 260. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about my experiences with carpal tunnel. Now, most people who've been watching my channel for a while know that I broke my back in a skiing accident. I was in a wheelchair for a long time. I was in chronic pain for over 16 years. What I haven't talked about as much is carpal tunnel. I started developing carpal tunnel syndromes about a year and a half before I was in the wheelchair. And it became such a huge problem once I was in that wheelchair because I was having to push myself along all the time. It got to the point where I could barely move myself around in my wheelchair. And on top of everything else that was going on in my back and my legs and the hips, this was just like the worst thing that could have possibly happened. It was so bad that I decided to get surgery for it. And you know what? I, it was an awful time being without my use of my arms after the surgeries. And I, I, I still didn't help. I still couldn't sleep at night well. I still couldn't use a keyboard for very well. I still couldn't play guitar. I, I lost the ability to do so many things that were so crucial to my happiness and my productivity. And it, for several years after those surgeries, I still had carpal tunnel pain for like a good three years after that. I was still having that pain. And what eventually fixed it was postural therapy. And today I'm sharing with you some of the most powerful techniques about using postural therapy to fix that carpal tunnel pain. And you know what? The pain, is, the problem isn't in the wrist. The problem is in the elbows, in the shoulders, in the spine, and in the hips, and even in the legs. And the, the techniques we're gonna be talking about today are going to address all of these things. I've got seven simple exercises that are going to help start tackling those carpal tunnel symptoms. The first is shoulder shrugs. Second is shoulder rolls. Third is standing wall with block. Then we've got standing quad stretch hanging, wall clock, and finally, air bench. Now, I'm going to be providing a brief explanation and with tips on the screen of how to do these exercises. If you need any help, I've also got full video instructions for every single exercise on this list. The links are going to be in the cards, as many as they'll let me put there, and all of them will be in the description down below. And don't forget, I've also broken this video up into chapters. If you, need ex if you already know an exercise, you can skip right ahead to the parts that you need. I want to make this as easy for you have to use that mouse and keyboard less, right, to, uh, to, to fix these carpal tunnel syndromes. So let's get into these exercises. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might be familiar with five of these exercises, but the first two are brand new ones. The first exercise is shoulder shrugs. Now we're going to be using the wall to keep all of our vertical joints in alignment, and we're going to be exercising or, or reteaching the scapulars how to move functionally up and down. That's really, it's a very simple exercise. And if you need full instructions, make be sure to check out that video. But we're really just reestablishing proper shoulder function here. The second exercise is shoulder rolls. After we've retaught those, those shoulders how to, how to elevate and de-elevate properly, now, of course, we are going to be taking our shoulders through a, our shoulder blades through a full range of motion, a rotational range of motion, through full protraction and retraction as well. And you know, a lot of people are going to be tempted to pick up some weights with this exercise, and that'll be fine later on down the road. But that's putting the carriage before the horse if you've got these postural problems. Do it without the weights initially. Later on, once you've got these, these uh, problems corrected, and I'll be publishing videos about this as well, postural strength conditioning, that's when you might want to pick up some weights, but leave them on the ground for now. With the third exercise in this sequence, we're back against the wall. Literally, our back against the wall. This is standing wall with block. You're going to need, obviously, a wall and a yoga block or a small cushion. It's a very simple exercise. You're gonna stay there for five, six, maybe even up to eight minutes, depending on your, your problems. But you're going to just hold that pose. We're going to get all of the vertical joints, the vertical <laughs> load-bearing joints into a vertical alignment. And we're going to be decreasing compensations in the hips and the lower body. So this is a great exercise for when we're talking about this carpal tunnel pain, which so much of it comes from this slouching forward posture that we need to get back into a vertical alignment. 
The fourth exercise in this sequence is standing quad stretch. Remember what I said at the beginning of the video. These problems that are causing the actual carpal tunnel pain are not only in the arms. We have to address the lower body. We have to treat the entire musculoskeletal system as a single unit. And that is what we're doing with standing quad stretch. While it is a quad stretch, another big thing we're achieving here is stability in the pelvis. And really, the, where the stretch comes from is from flexing that pelvis. That it, we're, we're not just relying on having the knee on a bench or, or whatever you're using to prop up your, your foot. So be sure to check out Standing Quad Stretch if you have, or the full video for Standing Quad Stretch if you have, need any pointers on this. The fifth exercise in this sequence is hanging. Hanging is just a simple toe touch stretch, but because this is postural therapy, we are addressing some of the finer postural points of doing this exercise. So many times when I see people trying to do this, this toe touch exercise, their hips are going to bail really far backwards, their butt is going to stick out. If you watch this full video on this, I'm going to be showing you how to make sure that doesn't happen, how to make sure that your hips stay in perfect alignment above your, knee, above your knees and ankles, and how to, this is really going to be stretching out the entire backside of the body, giving room for these shoulders to have the mobility they need to make sure we take care of that carpal tunnel pain. The sixth exercise in this sequence is wall clock. Now this is going to be one that directly affects the upper body through the shoulders all the way down to the wrist. The purpose of this exercise is really to establish that proper link between the shoulders and the wrist via the elbow and we are also promoting thoracic extension and proper lumbar function as well as rotation in the femur. So this is a great full body exercise. It's done in three positions. You're going to hold each one for 30 seconds to a minute. If you need any pointers on this, be sure to check out the full video instructions. The final exercise in this sequence is air bench. Now air bench in this case, we're really using it to solidify and strengthen the body while eliminating compensations in the, in, in the upper body. We're strengthening the quads, strengthening the hips, and we are reducing that slouching posture once again. This is a great way to finish up a lot of menus, especially this one for carpal tunnel syndrome.